growing up, if I were ever sad, ever upset, or just ever needed guidance in life, my only option was to go to God. But in what aspects can God help with the physical and mental effects that come of mental health? The Christian black community shies away of the ideas of talking to a counselor, therapist, or simply seeking help when truly needed. Black Christians of all backgrounds are affected and highlighting their opinions will help bring light to this issue. Mental health is just knowing yourself, knowing when something's not right with you on a conscious level, but just like just knowing yourself and your energy. My name is Savion. Um, I'm 19 years old. I'm originally from Alexandria, Virginia. Mental health is not really taken serious in our community. I feel like like older generations, they're not as aware as we are, they automatically have the answer to it, you know? You don't know how real it is until you experience it yourself. Depression is like wanting to kill yourself but having stuff to do. Having depression is like being scared and tired at the same time. It's the fear of failure but no urge to be productive. It's wanting friends but hate socializing. It's wanting to be alone but not wanting to be lonely. It's feeling everything at once than feeling paralyzingly numb. But I feel like in the black community, that specific statement, it could be looked upon as like, maybe you need to pray, like prayer is going to just fix everything, you know? And it's like, yeah, when you pray for something, you still have to take steps to get whatever you pray for done. You know, you can't just pray for something and a miracle is going to happen. My name is Vera Ethelene Bryant Glass. I'm the eldest of 14 children. Was there a time when I was depressed and wanted to feel better and who did I go to? Well, the, I, I thought about that a little bit. The only time that I was truly depressed was when my grandmother died. I was 12 years old. Who did I go to? I went to myself. I talked it out in my head. Uh, do I believe of the idea of mental health in the church, surely I do. There is mental health in the church because as a person, uh, we have the world, I could say the world conditions have made us go within ourselves as for a safe place. So there's a lot of people I believe sitting in the church that does have mental issues. Well, it mental health is basically a broken mind, distressed mind. Um, within our body, we have our soul. Within our soul, there's our mind, will, and emotions. And we have all been abused, abused at one time, physically, and we say mentally. It's a quiet, safe place. And sometimes we get stuck there. We're not able to come out of it. Mental health is actually an abuse of broken mind. A lot of it can be from generational curses. You know, we can be born with the mental health problem because based on our environment, the people that's around us. Okay, this is a picture of my mother and father 
Ethel and Kenneth Bryant, um, it's, the word says, those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near, still love, still miss, and very dear. My uh, grandmother's last name was McLam. Her father uh, was uh, Moses McLam, and he was a slave that was freed at um, 16 before slavery was over with, he was free. My grandmother was born in 1866 and slavery was over in 1865. So half of her sisters and brothers were slaves and uh, she was not born as a slave, but she was born as a free woman. What do I think my families went, went through as far as the mental health? They went through a whole lot because they were already in bondage, they were already enslaved. And so when you're enslaved, you couldn't go anywhere, do anything, unless the master said it was okay to do that. And even after slavery, there was the time of um, Jim Crow, uh, and Jim Crow still tech took people and put them back in bondage. I think, I think, I think mental health is a lot of behavior, it's uh, habits, it's, you know, it's a thought process, uh, I think that's, I know a lot of it is genetics. I mean, a lot, most of that is environmental, you know, and I think, you know, and what we think about ourselves, how we think about ourselves, um, where we go with ourselves. And it's it's, the, it's the really the enemy of us that we, that no one sees, see if a person that, that we, that speaks to us. You know what I'm saying? You see my flesh, but really it's my inner man that's speaking to me. I think the mental part of me is to, my create is where my creativity comes. So the sad part about it is some people have a chemical imbalance that make their thoughts process different. You know, and so chemical imbalance, genetics, it can be environmental, it can be a wide range of things that make a person think similar thoughts they think about. And it goes undetected because we, we want to classify it as a race, a gender, a sexuality. My name is Pastor Jusson Lavoie III. Um, I've been pastoring Mount Olive for a number of years. I've been in ministry since the age of 25. Um, I love what I do in my life, impacting people, encouraging people and giving people hope. And that's my, that's my love is, is giving people hope. And I think sometimes people think we as a church, we, we need to do what families don't do, provide what some people who were raised did not have and give um, hope and a future to people who did not know that they had or possess. If you don't know, and, and then also when it comes to like counselors and psychiatrists, that is from the part of the black community. We tend to we tend to want to be the pastor and the church to save grace. And sometimes we think it's I'm gonna pray about it, I'm gonna read God's word. Yeah, you, you we, we pray and we read God's word, but God gives us people and certain professions that we have we should go to to get a clearness of mind, a clear diagnose, so you understand what you have, so you can be a better you. The Word of God helps us to be better and to give us a newness, but there's hope that we have faith. I mean, I have faith that I believe in the Word from the pastor, I believe in the Word from the praise team, the Word from my church, but I also have hope and have faith that when I go to the doctor, that my God so strategically allow that doctor to give me what I need, and I have faith it all the way. I have faith that I take the prescriptions in faith, I take the medicine in faith, knowing that it's going to make me better and that nothing else is going to happen to me. And, and, and because of our ancestors had so much will and strength inside of them that mentally we should be okay because now that we have more opportunities and so when you say you have mental illness it's a shock as to where did it come from.